Now for a deep dive into the Second World War and the story of a US submarine scuttled off the coast of Thailand after being bombed by Japanese forces. The whereabouts of the USS Grenadier were unknown for 77 years. But now, after several months searching the waters south of the island of Phuket, four divers, including Lance Horowitz, believe that they have found the missing vessel. And I'm very pleased to say that Lance joins us now from his home on Phuket. So, Lance, well, congratulations for a start. We haven't 100% got confirmation, but you're pretty convinced that this is it. Hi, good morning. Yes, we're, we're quite certain there's um, not not that many of them uh, missing out there. So uh, due to seven, several different reasons, we're, we're very sure that it is a good idea. Oh my goodness, just talk us through the moment that you found it. What was it like? What did you experience? Oh, it's, it's quite emotional. Um, you know, it's, it's quite a large vessel as you you know, it's very deep. It's quite dark as as your your lights start to illuminate it, and you know you get this feeling of history flooding back. And um, other than that, it's just created a bit of a freak ecosystem on the bottom of the seafloor. It's teeming with marine life, so it's um, it's a very vivid feeling when when you're down there. It uh, gives you goosebumps. To say it in one way. It certainly looks extraordinary. It wasn't an easy expedition. Tell us a little bit about um, how it came about and, and how it went. Well, it's a, I think it's a, a bit of a, a dream of, of our team to, to find and discover, um, you know, things that are thought to be lost. So um, we started, started searching for, for possible wrecks and, and uh, located this after a lot of looking with the sonars on the boat and um, and then we have to use quite advanced diving techniques we, we dive on a mixture that's predominantly helium we need um, diver propulsion vehicles to move us around we're very laden with tanks we're using closed circuit rebreathers so it's, it's quite a technical dive and a lot to be uh, considered it's, it's at about 83 meters deep so it's um, getting to the limits of, of uh, what you know a human diver can can take really it sounds like an extraordinary feat, and the submarine itself, the USS Grenadier, it's quite a, an extraordinary story, quite an emotional one. Tell us a little bit more about it. Well, I, I think so. Um, it was out on patrol in the area when it was attacked by some Japanese um, airplane, and the, the vessel was damaged. It sunk to the bottom. They spent 13 hours trying to repair the system, managed to get back to the surface, saw that they were surrounded and they had to basically scuttle the ship so sink it on purpose to stop it from falling into enemy hands and um, then they were taken taken prisoner and um, you know there's been some books written about it but um, yeah it was thought to be lost forever um, and it, it's I think nice for we've been contacted by family members of the survivors saying how nice it is to have a bit of closure um, and bring this whole story just wrap it up and when do you find out? We don't have much time, but when do you find out for 100% that this is it? Well, it's currently under review with the Navy, and um, they, we expect to hear back in, uh, in a week or two. Thank you so much for sharing this incredible story, Lance. Absolutely fascinating. Some incredible pictures as well. A wonderful story. And uh, congratulations, Lance Horowitz, who has, fingers crossed, hopefully found the USS Grenadier. Wonderful story. Thank, Thank you so you much. Very much. Thank you for joining us live. Uh,